Ha ha! It is I, Olsen, who have just returned from outer space. Or was it the future? Either way, I have returned with valuable information. They have shared with me the secret to life on Earth. And it is in this box. Do you want to see what's inside? Ha ha ha! The answer to the secret of life, everybody, is... Of course, it's mathematics! Ha 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 ha! Hey everybody, here we go. I don't even know what online week this is. Who cares anymore? But it's time for our quote of the week. Mr. Olson once said, Computers are dumb. They can only do what a human being has told them to do. Of course, they can usually do it much faster. True. But it's all based on the intelligence of the human in the first place, everybody. We are counting on you. The future. I need something better than Netflix. I'm going crazy at home, everybody. Please, somebody get smarter and design something better than Netflix. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's get started. First of all, we got to review this here, Chapter 10 from Math 7. You're supposed to already know this. It's okay if you don't. I hope you use those formulas, everybody. And it's a good thing Olsen always shows his work. So I'm just going to share my answer sheet with you. Here we go, everybody. Let's talk this over real quick. All right. Number one, I found the area of each individual face. I added them up, and it looks like I got 236 yards squared. Same thing for number two. We got a triangular prism. So what did I do? I found the area of all five faces. Add them up, 840 millimeters squared. Number three, cylinders. Crazy-looking formula there, everybody. I hope that makes sense to you, this formula. To find the area, the surface area of a cylinder... Let's quickly take a look at what this formula means here, everybody. 2 times pi times radius squared. What's that supposed to mean? Well, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared, and there's two of them. So that takes up the top and bottom, if we can say, bases. Now, the second half of this formula, we have to find the area of a rectangle. Because if you were to unfold that curved lateral surface, you'd get a big rectangle. Well, one of the dimensions is going to be what we call the height. That's pretty easy to find. That other dimension is going to be kind of tough. That other one is kind of curved around this top circle. That means it's the circumference, everybody. 2 times pi times r. That's one dimension of the rectangle, and the other one's the height. So you multiply 2 times pi times r times the height. Now you got the area of that rectangle. Follow my work there. It looks like I got a 1,627.776 centimeters squared. Of course, you were supposed to round to the nearest tenth. Moving right along, everybody. We had to find, for number four, it looks like we had to find the surface area of this uh, pyramid. It looks like a square pyramid. So I found the area of the base, side times side. Then I found the area of a triangle. And I added that up four times, since there's four of them. I got an answer of 77.44 meters squared. Uh, number five, find the volume. Well, the volume of a prism is the length times, of a rectangular prism, sorry, is the length times the width times the height. Multiply those three numbers, 36, mm, uh, what's that say? M-I, miles cubed. Number six, I have to find the volume of a triangular prism. Find the area of the base. We're going to talk about that today, but that's what capital B means. Capital B is the area of the base. Well, that was a triangle, so that's one-half the base times the height. One-half, the 15 times the 8 times the height of that prism, which was 18. I got 1,080 millimeters cubed. Cubed, because it's volume. How many cubes can fit inside there? Moving right along, number seven, everybody. The volume of a pyramid is one-third the area of the base, there's that capital B again, times the height. Well, it's a rectangle down there, so it would be length times width to find the area of that base. So one-third times that five times four times the height, which is six, gives me 40 millimeters cubed. And our easiest questions maybe of the whole year, what two-dimensional shape do you get when you cut these planes? Uh, number eight, I hope you obviously recognize that circle. Number nine is a rectangle, and number ten was a triangle. Okay, everybody, there we go. Now let's get to our new chapter, chapter ten, volume and similar solids. Okay, everybody, we, today we're going to find the volume of a cylinder. Well, 
Well, let's take a look at this, everybody. To find the volume of a cylinder, the formula says, find the area of the base, multiply it by the height. Okay. Well, the area of the base of a cylinder is a circle. That's pi times the radius squared times the height. So, please, make sure you have a calculator. We got a pi here. Whenever you see pi, why don't we plug in a 3.14? Of course, you can also plug in a 22 seconds if you'd like. Most of the time, we're going to be using 3.14. Well, let's get some numbers up here, but let's make this a little bit more real. What if they said we had a height of, oh, I don't know, I don't know, height of 4, and let's just make it up a radius of 3. All right. If my height is 4, let's go inches, and my radius is a 3 inches, those are the only numbers I really need, right, everybody? Well, I'm going to replace that R with the 3. Now, beware. Sometimes they could give you the diameter. You better cut that diameter in half to get that radius. So I'm going to take that radius, square it, and we also have to multiply it by the height, which was just a 4. Well, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 4 is a 36. Now we just have to multiply 36 times the 3.14. All right, 3.14 times the 36 is equal to 113. Yeah. 0 .04. 113.04. We're in inches. We are talking volume, so that needs to be how many cubes can fit inside. That's cubed, everybody. All right. Uh, definitely homework is harder than what I demonstrated here. Please look at the examples in the chapter. You guys got 10 challenging questions to do for homework tonight. They're going to start off kind of easy, get you warmed up. Uh, then you gotta hit the rest of them, including those word problems. How about page 431, everybody? Problems 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, and 23. You can do it, everybody. Keep up the good work.